So these clips that you're about to see are from a bouldering trip that we took last March, which is over a year ago now, and that's kind of crazy to think. I did actually make a video from our trip to Albaracin when we first got back, like some vlogs, but what I didn't do is compile all the footage I had of me climbing into one big collection of climbing sends from Albaracin, so that is what I am doing today. I think I have seven or eight videos of my favourite boulders from Spain to walk you through from 6A to 7A, which was the upper limit of what I could boulder a year ago. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoy these boulders. Yeah. So the first problem was actually the very first problem that I climbed in Albarison. The problem starts right over here on the left and you work your way along a really unique wall of rock. You can see here all of the pockets and their little monos and then some slightly nicer ledges on top for you to work your way across. The problem is a sit start, so you shimmy across from the start until you reach the first nice ledge. All the moves in themselves are really manageable, but once you've done six or seven of them together, you really start to feel the pump in your forearms. I found on this problem, my flexibility and a good heel hook really helped me out. I got a left heel really high to hook myself onto the wall and then use this to rock my body upwards to the next tier of good pockets. I then started to feel a little bit drooped under here and like I was trying to fit into quite an awkward small gap so I tried to lengthen myself out to make some room for some foot manoeuvring and I um, eventually was able to squat really deep onto the first ledge and work my way up like a crab and then for me it was really just a case of not wobbling off that ledge I felt quite unbalanced um, and I was able to stand up enough to belly over the top and also it was a case of not banging my head on that roof above me but I was really pleased to get this uh, it was my one of my first climbs of the trip and I got it first go, so I didn't have to put my forearms through the ordeal of trying that traverse again, so I was pleased. Climb number two is this slightly committing Hello. climb, finishing in a rock over on your left foot to gain the top. The first few moves felt really quite powerful to me, off crimps, outright, to quite a good sloper that you kind of lay back off and then a really high left heel to tuck yourself in nicely. It took quite a number of goes for me to figure out this next move. You can see me really drilling my toes into the rock here and that's because I was trying to build up some confidence um, to make the next Usain Bolt style lock off on my right arm and trust myself to reach out left with my nice left hand. Yeah, really good feet. Up and to the right, gets flatter. That's it. Look how good your right foot is. Your right foot. Get that up. Yeah, it's just like, just trust the feet. It's like walking up on stairs or something. That's it, palms The down. top was actually more straightforward than you would guess from watching me climb it here, but um, it felt a little high and a little bit slippy, so I felt quite hesitant. Well done. Boulder King is a problem that I remember being really, really painful on my skin. I'm not sure if it was because it was quite a cold day or because those grimps were pretty sharp, but all over this was quite a satisfying bare wall problem, which I managed to make a complete hash of, but enjoyed climbing nonetheless. For much of the climb you're able to keep your feet quite low on the starting block. Um, I was pretty indecisive with where to put my hands, but once I'd finally established myself it became a case of working my toes up the face and gaining the right crimp and then a really nice left jug. Then I faffed around a little bit, made a totally not funny joke and uh, walked up over the top. The next boulder was in a really gorgeous location, an Astradera, Arastradera. 
I don't know how you say. But anyway, this was a real sun trap. It's a slightly overhanging wall, which was really pleasant climbing on some surprisingly good holds until you got to the top. And then you had to find a very small, sharp crimp rail on the back and commit to a top out that felt like it was going to spit you off violently backwards. Um, I must have tried this with my friend Paddy for in excess of 20 goes until we figured out the top. You can see the holds a little better in this clip of paddy climbing so you can see that the climb starts on an undercling and you work your way upwards on some quite nice jugs and pockets negotiating quite a powerful move in the middle until you're positioned on kind of two really nice side pull jugs these holds are really great to reach the top but the top is then completely flat and slopes away from you and building oh, your feet higher enough to go over the top feels really scary or it did to me there's a really nice crimp at the back of the shelf which you can see paddy reaching for here but it's really not the kind of thing that you would want to commit to hanging much weight off Spot, Hannah. Yeah. Round the corner, I thought I'd seen you. Thought you were looking for me. I thought I'd reached you. So I'd say though this wasn't the hardest problem I climbed in Albara scene. Finally topping it out was probably one of my proudest moments of the trip. Until I realised that I was stuck in that little cave there. Wow, nice Hannah. This next reverse was one of my favourite climbs in Albara scene probably. It starts in a sit start, moving out right through some really nice overhanging pockets and this sloping ledge, which leads to the roof of the climb. There are a lot of times in this climb where I found myself quite stretched out and I had to make use of my favorite technique, clearly the heel hook. It took me a fair while to put together a sequence that worked well for me and the mantle at the top was quite gruelling for how tired I was at the end so I was really happy to finally pull over the top of this. Stop 
This next problem I'm unsure of the name of, it's only given a letter D in the guidebook so I'm not sure what it's called but it's a 6B plus right next to the boulder palpant. It starts sitting and gains a ladder of crimps into a large bulging top out. After repeated drops of the top, I found a sneaky right heel hook where those white blobs are on the rock and started trying to hook myself with that. After a couple of chalking mishaps and some pretty full on slips off the top, I did finally send this and it felt really good because it felt like my perseverance had paid off. So these next couple of problems took me a fair few sessions over the trip to tick and we ended up going back for them quite a few times, hence the number of outfit changes in these next few clips. But this is La Rave and a direct variation which get 7A for La Rave and 6B for the variation. So the 6B plus goes direct from the rightermost crimp that you can see here and over the mantle. And then the 7A goes from the left hand crimp, traverses through into the 6B plus and goes over the top. So you're adding a stiff crimp pull to the beginning of the climb to get the 7A. Once I had that jump from the crimp styled, it became a matter of putting the whole thing together um, and adding the jump move in, which was actually pretty low percentage for me. I'd say it took me the longest to figure out how to do that move in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed this video of problems from Albaracine. Nathan and I are really looking forward to going back as soon as we can, but I think we'll have to train a fair bit more 
to be able to get to the standard that I was climbing in this video. I felt like I was climbing reasonably well for me and now I feel like I wouldn't be climbing that well. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. We were actually supposed to head back to our Barrison this year, but with things as they are, um, we obviously won't be, so this is the next best thing for me, and I really hope you enjoy these bold problems as much as I enjoy climbing them. Take me back, girl, take me back.